Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. So today we look at how we can uh, draw a better outline of the cockpit of our choice, um, any aircraft, whether DCS or other platforms. So using the F-15E as an example, um, I'm also building the A10C but that one is not complete. So this one is complete and as you see in the past, you know, this shape even though it's like this but um, it doesn't really fit this weird in and out shape at the side. Then this one also just doesn't align well and it, this one doesn't show enough and this one shows too much. So anyway, um, multiple problems. So let's uh, see if it's possible to do this better. So my first attempt using GIMP, um, using Word, drawing a pink shape and then using white rectang rectangular blocks to, you know, cover here, cover here, cover here, whatever. And then the most complicated one is this one where I did many, many shapes. Um, then I screenshot this, which becomes a JPEG. Then I open up in GIMP, right? Um, do the layer stuff and magic one and delete and make transparency. So GIMP, um, I don't know what's wrong with it, but um, it the result is transparent, but then the border is like a fuzzy wuzzy outline. Okay, really bad. Uh, looks bad in MR. You you see a lot of this kind of like lines uh, or dots. Okay, so um, second attempt. Paint.net right you go to shapes um under tools shapes then you the default is rectangle you find a trapezoid um and then the third tab by default is outline you select field shape okay then you draw something like this, okay, um, which was by default. Once you select the field shape, now it becomes a colored one. Okay, fine, but we don't want black. So on the right, top right corner, we see this color thing, right? Default is all zero, which is black. If you guys have seen episode 27 where I showed... Um, all the steps required to set up mixed reality. The magic number in um, virtual desktop, which handles the pass through, is red 255, green 0, blue 145. So here we follow that, have the magic number to the right shade of pink. Okay, then we redraw the shape, and voila, we have this pink trapezoid. Um, then we go back to tools, select the magic one, click here and it outlines this, okay, and then click uh, select delete on the keyboard and now you have this transparent background, okay, while the pink is there. So you want to save this as a PNG, okay, PNG cannot be JPEG or anything else. The PNG will preserve the transparency and wherever you bring into, you know, the background is transparent. However, this is not, this is a very simplified um, shape. It will do as a test for mixed reality, but ideally you want to really trace out a nice shape of your cockpit, right? Whether A10 or F-18 Hornet, F-16 Viper, whatever you're flying. So this is just 
to experiment. We want to do better. So, um, I learned about FreeCAD and Inkscape. But first, you want to pick a candidate, right? This one is from the um, flight user manual. The view seems to be sitting way down, okay, too low, uh, looking up at the cockpit. And the top is also cut off. This one, um, I also learned there is such a thing as a model viewer. So this model view of the strike eagle. So this one has this. This one is looking maybe too too high up or too far back or something. We can see this shape, and I wasn't sure whether I should ignore this and trace this one or trace this one, and then whether is it visible when I sit in it. So um, then I have my completed cockpit, which then I thought of doing this, tracing this, but this shape doesn't really. This is a very um, simplified shape of the cockpit, right? And I realized that I shouldn't be tracing my cockpit, I should be tracing the virtual one. So in DCS, um, not in VR, this one is just from the monitor, right? A screenshot, um, it's flat and it seems to be the correct height, not too high, not too low, uh, flat on. So I decided to use this uh this picture. Okay. So two steps free cat then inkscape. So free cat um the latest version has a pretty cool feature. I I tried to do it in my older version, then I didn't see this feature and I upgrade it to the latest one so what you do is you click new import the picture okay um, create a sketch obviously a body first then a sketch and you ask you for the plane choose your plane I'll do a demo on this later and then you want this poly polyline okay start tracing 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 then do this whole shape okay or later you can just do the front part so anyway you, now this is a better shape of the cockpit and the weird thing is the left side is higher and the right side is kind of relatively flat so anyway you have a shape then you um you actually export this um as a flattened SVG, okay, it has to be this type only. Choose it as a export the sketch, select the sketch and and export as a flattened SVG. Then now we are in Inkscape. We open up the SVG and select it. Then on the right side we have many tabs. Choose this one, fill color, okay. By default it's black, okay. RGB or zero. Um, do that magic number two five five one forty five. Okay, now we have our pink. So the next tab is um export. So when we click export, um, I realize that it tends to be big. Okay, the the default is like. Uh, one to two mag, and I noticed that open kneeboard. Um, when I'm trying to see the pass through, it doesn't appear. Um, the pass through the shape doesn't appear, and that's because within a few seconds in VR, when you open kneeboard, it crashes. When you put this file in the respective aircraft tab, um. And I thought one Mac isn't that big. Then I realized that the ones that I've been using Paint.net and GIMP, they were only like 10K, 12K, 15K, which is a hundred times smaller than one Mac, right? One Mac is a thousand K. So 
um, 100k. So I use paint.net and do a resize and do like 1% or maximum 5% of the original size. Okay, you want it like 5 to 15k. Okay, ideally. Um, if not, this shape, nice shape and transparent background, if it causes open keyboard to crash, then it's useless. So this shape, it's nicer than the one um, I've been using, right? But still, this is doing this, okay? This normally a cockpit is like this. This is where you sit in the middle, right console, left console, and your main console vertically in front of you. We are, if we do this, we are kind of tilting this, um, almost like 45 degrees can be less can be more but you are trying to use one shape to represent both which doesn't look good all right one plane to represent two planes vertical and horizontal so let's see so we have this this shape that we made um now the we we cut it short okay instead of like this you cut it short and then we make it vertical and then we have another one whether it's pure rectangle rectangle or trapezoid and we make it horizontal almost horizontal depending on uh, when you sit in your stride eagle or hornet or viper or whatever depending on what you know the site whether it's tilting down or up right but almost horizontal so you have two planes then you have this and this right this is the first this is the second you you can have two knee boards in open knee board so that's cool so we i normally have uh, this not necessary i i when i learn i put the knee board under aircraft right you can actually add tab select file and you can name it whatever but i've been placing it under aircraft so the second knee board you click add tab select your file and then uh it will be at the top i just move it down right i'm used to my knee board here so the second knee board i put it here you can call it whatever so when this is under tab settings right um adding adding a second knee board as a tab so when you are in the VR settings, okay, first knee board, second knee board, you enable it. You have to say which tab. Okay, we have we this is our second knee board, this tab, so select the tab. Then it will appear. Note if you do um at the bottom there's always a what center it now in our, before you can you can shift it left and right. When you click center, it centers both because both are enabled. Okay, so you might want to disable one, enable the other when you click center. If not, you will move both together. Anyway, you have to adjust this up and down, um, you know, tilt or roll or whatever to make it make it like this. So, um, the you you make it kind of horizontal and then you can you can uh this is like in six dof is like a search raise it up okay um uh, this is almost horizontal raise it up you can you can roll you can yaw the thing like this way that way right um uh, basically until it merge once this two merge you won't see this line this is the first shape right purely horizontal or depending on how vertical sorry purely vertical depending on your aircraft how vertical this is so you have this vertical you have this horizontal they will merge okay now we have another problem i noticed that in open knee board even before you launch any aircraft uh, when you are in the DCS uh, startup menu once 
open knee board is turn on there's a line so when you're in your aircraft okay the strike eagle there's a there's a line it's it's not so obvious when you are like on the tarmac but when you're up in the air okay this is the virtual uh hornet in the hornet there's a line okay strike eagle um this is the a10 uh again a very poor representation uh shape so you will see a line even when i tried microsoft there's also a line okay there's always a line so um i did some research i tried experimenting um so <coughs> excuse me gim um created the line i tried paint.net uh pink shape right still see the line use inkscape to draw a normal shape see the line i use paint.net to crop okay let's say i the shape i crop out this and make this whole shape shorter still see the line so none of this work okay whatever tool you use to create a png file with transparent background it always represent the line at the top of whatever shape <clears throat> okay not at the side at the bottom so um i had an eureka moment and i accidentally was playing with the tilt of this one and i overdid it and i flipped it then i noticed that the line went to the back okay so but we we still want this upright so first you introduce the shape you will take the shape of your first um knee board okay you rotate it 180 degrees upside down so they appear like this and the line will be on top okay um in vr in open knee board the line will be here then you use this pitch in degrees in the um, vr uh, page of open knee board and you flip it back so this one you have a line here you flip it and now the this shape becomes upright okay and the line is sitting down here okay but obviously once you merge in pass through you don't see the line the line only appears in vr so the first shape the the line is taken care of it's it's brought to the bottom okay it, because we introduce the shape like this it, it always appear at the top of whatever um shape you introduce it, it gets it gets uh flipped to the bottom then this second one you second shape you also want to flip it upside down okay um bring it in as a second knee board and it it will also be at the back okay behind your seat so um you're not even going to see it uh, unless you look for it so then when you merge um you don't see the first line let's say the first line is sitting here but because it's passed through you don't see the first line the second line here it gets flipped to the back behind you so um unless you turn around and look down look for it um, it's not noticeable so that is um that solves the problem so we solved the um the weak outline okay now we have a much closer outline it's not perfect depending on how you build this glass shield uh, my I did it the lazy way. So anyway, now we we have a shape that more or less confirms to con conforms to the shape in in the game, and we also have a vertical, a horizontal one that that um, lines the side consoles, okay, and we solve the horizontal um, the irritating horizontal line as well. So um before we take a look at the demo this is what i just learned um one of the previous videos i learned that in helios under this toolbox uh if you scroll all the way down this screenshot doesn't show it there's a new category called um special controls not this one not this is custom there's a special controls inside there are several things one of them 
it's called enable MFD exporting in VR. What it does is actually it it um you remember I used to have to manually add this line in order for any viewport to appear in VR. I or was ma manually always copying and pasting this. Once you click uh in Helios uh monitor setup, you click it will wipe everything and I always have to go in edit uh notepad plus plus and then paste this with with this icon it will always add this line okay but when i solve the viewport transparency problem as mentioned in episode 32 i think um i i didn't have to do this anymore because this icon was doing for me but i still have to paste this every time okay or else the um, the rwr and MPD and whatever viewports um, transparency problem is there. So um, today, um, Matt Creator 37, he helped me solve the A10 ADI or SAI problem. Um, he brought to my attention that this text is actually hidden here on the right side, okay, under behavior. You don't see it because I push it down. Um, this text was just there uh, with the comment added by monitor setup script appender. So I copy and pasted this and pasted in here. Plus the default one, VR, allow MFD stuff. Then I also added a line because um, it used to be squeezed uh, immediately. This line would appear immediately in the Helios Lua, which is annoying. So I added a space, a line, and then this thing, and then the VR, and then this thing. So now, when you do a Helios monitor setup, click on it, and it it handles all this, okay? Then now it adds this VR mirror part for you to solve your your transparency, VR transparency problem. Uh, for those who you who still had a problem and wasn't aware I solved it look at episode 33 or 32 and then this thing also uh, it's now now basically you will append this and append this so no longer I have to edit you know the 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 Helios Lua setup all right so good discovery and kudos to Matt Creator for his help again so now we will take a look at um the demo for the FreeCAD and Inkscape, and also in DCS, uh, in mixed reality, how the improved uh, cockpit outline looks like. Okay, we take a look at how to use FreeCAD and Inkscape to. Um, trace the outline and create the pink background so first off the free cut you have to upgrade um, to the latest version I was a few versions out there and I couldn't find that feature till I upgraded the uh, version so we do new and then import so the picture I have is um, here so you're gonna see this right do a body sketch and select this uh, plane right now the picture is there so we are going to use this polygon um, icon and we are going to trace so how fine it's um, all up to you I'm just doing a demo here so this thing here is kind of weird I'm just going to um, simplify it 
Now the I notice that this side is higher than this side. This side doesn't have anything going up. So um All right, so we can quickly trace the the shape. Um, actually, below here, it doesn't really matter anymore because um, we're going to merge with a second one later. So here, what you can do is... Um, Follow this to have a horizontal shape and we end. Escape, we are out. Okay, close this and now you see this shape. Um, if you hide this, okay, you see this shape here. So select the sketch and you will highlight this, select the sketch and export um, going to call it F15 um, it has to be flattened SVG okay so Test number five. So now it's exported and we go to Inkscape and we open this one. Okay, test five. Voila. Then you have to select. Okay, select this. Um, then two things one is to fill color this one fill by default black 2550145 this is the pink that we want right press enter you get this now this is not background yet so when you go to export make sure you choose png now if you export you cut off you export just like that do selection now it selects the whole thing okay and you will go to let's see where is it going okay it's going to download so this um sketch okay let's be consistent we call it five so uh, you can tell how many times i've tried this so if you just export like this the size will be quite big if you reduce the the DPI, obviously the file will be smaller. But sometimes the the edges get fuzzy if you overdo the DPI. If you reduce it a lot, so what I do is I just um this p sketch five. Okay, now we have. Um, this PNG file you see is 1.2 meg. Okay, you want to um, resize it. You can, if you cannot resize it, use um, paint.net and resize, resize it, reduce it to about 10k, a hundred times smaller, right? 100k is 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller is 10k instead of 100k. So reduce it, then it will work. If it's too big, um, open kneeboard will keep crashing. Okay, no matter how many times you open, it will crash within a few seconds. Okay, this is how you do it. As you see, the um, second shape is uh, now 
quite well aligned you can move it up and down you can yaw it you know left and right you can uh, roll tilt whatever so just experiment and you get something like this